the Ukraine war starts. You must agree with it. And so you end up with this weird circumstance where the American political left, as we describe it, is critical of the military industrial complex, supportive of the military industrial complex, in favor of pro-choice because my body, my choice, my, I choose my medical practice, but then you should be forced to undergo medical treatments. Completely, none of, none of these things align logically. They align politically. And it's, it, it's any, th there's no logic to it, but that is what you must adhere to. Right. When it comes to the U.S. funding of, you know, Israel, for instance, they're like, no, this is bad. We shouldn't do it. When it comes to the U.S. funding of Ukraine, it's like, yay, you know, those Russians are bad. When it comes to uh, medical treatment, it's my body, my choice, except if it's pertaining to lockdowns and mandates. Yeah. And no it, logic. It was bizarre. Zero and, logic. And that's the thing. And, and then I had people, you know, online coming at me like and people I knew coming at me going, oh, well, you're you're this right wing thing now or you're this or that, which I don't, I'm, that's not insulting to me. Like I, I'm friends of all political stripes, but it w it was just bizarre that it's like, OK, if you won't do this thing, here's the laundry list of things we're going to call you that we think are terrible. But it, it didn't make any sense. I'm like, I'm standing in the exact place that I've always been. I voted for Bernie Sanders. I'm, you know, have people yelling Trump supporter just because I wouldn't take the vaccine. I'm like, it's not an insult. But it's not accurate. They don't and, care. But I thought we weren't putting, you know, labels on people that they didn't ascribe to. You know? I, I but, love that. Like, so uh, you're not QAnon? I'm not. Yeah, go figure. Right? <laughs> I figured uh, that was the guy from the Offspring the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. <laughs> you're not. Is it? But did, did any of, uh, of you of the other guys in the band any of you guys experience similar similar things like refusing to adhere to lockdowns or anything like that, or is it just are these, is, that, is that why these guys are sitting here at the table? I mean, yeah, luckily, luckily, I live in in Texas, right? So it's it would, it's not an issue. It never even really came up. I just Dickie and Pete are my friends, and it was like, uh, holy crap, what's happening to them is so crazy and wrong. And how can I be there for my friends, kind of thing? Man, that's crazy. That's awesome. But that's right? nice, right? Yeah, but that's normal. But that's you the know thing what I mean. That's for, for all the that, people that yeah. ran ran from you there's this other group of people that ran towards you, you know, and you, and you kind of, right. like my wife said, uh, well, you know, we, we're not going to hide here. How do we, how do we find our people? How do we find our tribe? And for me, it was mostly like to, to speak out and say something. Cause I know tons of people got fake cards, tons of musicians, everybody went back to work, kept their head down. I'm just going to ride this out. And that's cool. But for me and my kids, do you I'm want like, me to list those names? No, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know mean, a, a bunch. Of, I know a bunch of them. A lot of people probably right. do. Yeah, but, but I'll, I'll I'll tell you guys what, man. Tim wants uh, me to list them. <laughs> you know, I'm 50 50. Some people deserve privacy. It depends if they're hip, hypocrites and they're evil right, and they're doing yeah, nasty right. things. You call them out. But I, uh, you know, you talk about the people rushing towards you. I'm pretty sure my mom. My, uh, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure she cried when she found out that Pete Parada, the drummer for the Offspring, was was playing drums with us. Because when I was a little kid playing Offspring songs and she's bringing me like guitar lessons or whatever, this is the band. These are the CDs. I got the tab books for Ixna and the Ombre, Smash, all at once. And I'm at home. I'm playing it all. And then one day she's like, the Offspring drummer is, is playing drums with you? Like, <laughs> this is so amazing. I'm like, well, I don't know, man. I mean, it's crazy. And then for Ian, when we mentioned that you were coming, Dickie, yeah. Ian starts listing off all the albums he used to listen to. Dude, so, Royal so, Oil, man. Dude, screw yeah, these people. Nice smooth. These, these. I spent the day with Ian. I wish your mother liked me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She probably does. It uh, is interesting how if you're a kid and you have like a hero that you look up to and then you live your truest self publicly that you may end up working with them. Like that is mind blowing. But maybe you wouldn't want to because like, you know, you know look, I, 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 my, my mom was, when I was little, she's like, oh, you know, Dexter Holland, he's <clears> getting his PhD and all that stuff. Like she was so proud that I was, looking up to a band where the lead singer of this rock star was also getting an education. And I did think that was really great. You know, Tim, he flies his own plane. That's true. <laughs> yeah. You he's, know, he's and a it, rocket scientist. That's fantastic. And he's a bad person. He's a, he's a bad guy because I, don't know. I, I just, I, I got, I got, you know, if, if there's no, there's no excuse, man. He broke young Tim skateboarding he young 13 he did it. year old heart. You know, oh, ch child me is like, Learning now and, and is smashing guitar in the background. Oh, what a I, great I, guy Pete is. I, I, yeah, I mean, I would push back on anyone being bad people. I think sometimes people make choices that I would consider bad. I didn't enjoy the choice they made for me. 